Okay, today's video is going to be about uh, surface roughness again. We're actually going to be checking and verifying some measurements here. What we have is a vintage motorcycle cam cover, and this part has actually been previously uh, sandblasted or glass beaded uh, at higher pressure, of course. It's very, very dull. Uh, you can see that it's very, very light gray. Uh, it's very rough. Uh, the surface is extremely roughened, and it's not what we want to do uh, during restoration. Uh, we're trying to preserve history here, guys. Uh, we're not trying to destroy it. And I don't care if you turn the pressures down uh, when you're glass beating uh, or if you're just sandblasting to infinity and destroying parts. Um, you are definitely changing the surface characteristics of the material. You're actually removing material. Um, there's no doubt about that. There's nothing that you can argue uh, to say that you're not. Um, so what we want to do is obviously you want to be vapor blasting your parts. Um, it's the only proven method that's going to actually preserve the pieces. It's not going to rough the surface and it's going to give you that beautiful OEM finish that you're looking for. Um, as you can tell this part is not OEM looking at all. Uh, there's nothing uh, that's attractive about this. It's going to stain very easily. Uh, but what I want to do is again show you a number, a uh, surface, rough, surface roughness number. And again this is on the ceiling surface of this part. Again, so it's very important that we have nice, smooth surfaces for sealing. Uh, so let's go ahead and check this uh, surface RA, and then we will go to Vapor Blast, and then we'll come back and check the measurement again. So we're going to let it run its test here. We'll get a number. We'll, we'll validate that after Vapor Blasting. Again, you don't want to do this in the first place. You don't want to ever do glass beating or sandblasting first and then try to do this process. You're just working backwards. Uh, you're, you're not doing what you need to be doing here. Uh, you're not preserving that part. You're Again, you're roughing the surface. You're damaging it. Yeah, we might be able to bring it back out aesthetically, but it's not going to be to the full extent that it could be uh, if it was not sandblasted before. So we're at a 4.222 RA. Uh, so that's a pretty rough surface. Let's put this in the vapor blaster and see what we can do with it. Okay, we just vapor blasted this uh, ceiling surface over here where we have the surface roughness gauge. And as you can see, that was our measurement before vapor blasting. So let's go ahead, we're going to uh, recheck this measurement and see if we've actually smoothed the surface a bit. So we're going to hit the start button. We're going to let it check the uh, roughness here of the surface. Again, we were at a 4.22 after sandblasting. For those of you who have never actually seen a surface roughness gauge work, um, you can see the stylus here on the end. It actually retracts back and then and forward again probably travels about a half an inch to an inch uh, in both directions so again there's a drastic difference in surface roughness between vapor blasting and sandblasting again sandblasting was at a 4.22 now we're at a 2.419 RA surface roughness so again we're vapor blasting we're smoothing the surface and that was after a sandblast so imagine if you actually started with a piece that you just disassembled from a motor uh, or if you have a machined part or something like that where surface roughness is important and you've never sandblasted that particular part, you can imagine how smooth the surface would be um, and how intact it would be left after uh, vapor blasting. And that really shows the, the gentleness nature of the vapor blasting process. Again, we're actually going to be restoring not or, or preserving not destroying and that's the main point here uh, again the numbers are drastic uh, there's a major difference and again that's a ceiling surface on a cylinder head 
and you know how important that is to have a beautiful smooth surface for sealing. Uh, not only are the aesthetical characteristics different as well, and it's something we've covered in our previous videos, I mean it's just it's a massive improvement on the surface integrity and the finish as well uh, as, as long as the, as well as the roughness. Um, so I hope this helps guys. Uh, you can really see the difference between sandblasting, glass beading versus vapor blasting. And uh, if you have any more questions, uh, give us a call or shoot us an email. Thanks for watching.